Salvete de Schipoli. Welcome to online learning in Latin 4. Um, so today I want to review with you the story Testamentum. You should hopefully be able to see most of it on the screen. I know my little head is down in the corner. Uh, welcome to my house. Ego habeo multas libros. Um, in this story, Testamentum, we are supposedly hearing the, or reading, the will, the Testamentum, written by Cogadugnus. Uh, hmm. You guys, most of you anyway, I have your questions here, answered questions about this. Um, but I challenge you to consider, uh, do we believe everything that's in this will? Was he coerced? Did someone else write this? Hmm. Let's look at who he is leaving things to and let's look at uh, what he has said in it and, and consider things carefully and try and review previous stories as well. So first off, he says that ego facio, and I'm looking up here, I think if I do this, you can see my cursor, ego titum flavium domitianum optimum imperatorum, heredum meum facio. What's a heredem? Well, that's just our accusative case of heres. So he's saying he's making a certain person his heir. Now, all those five words, after ego refer to the same person, his heir, est imperator. Hmm. Et quoque cogadugnus jubet omnes regnenses legibus parare et vitam quietam agere. Now, why would he be asking his own tribe to do that? Just be considering that, thinking about that, um, given the experiences that he as well as our old friend Dumnorix experienced at the hands of the Romans. Hmm. Also looking in this paragraph, let's consider some vocabulary. We've got aducti. What part of speech is that? Think to yourself, and what word is it modifying? Hmm. And what is it actually saying about the regnenses there? Think about it. I'm not answering for you. Likewise with affecti and insania. Again, who is this referring to? Do we have evidence from previous stories about this? We don't. We don't believe this. Hmm. All right, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Do, 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 do. So the next bit of this, I'll even go down a little more, jumps right into the things that he is giving and bequeathing to various people. Do. Lego, Nio Julio Agricolae, Statuam Meam. All right, seems nice enough. Wonder why? Hmm. More importantly, Do Lego Gaio Salio Liberali, Fidelissimo Amico Romeorum, Duos Tripodas Argenteos. All right, something's weird here. What do we know about Salvius and Cogadumnus? You all who passed this in totally answered the questions correctly as far as who gave what to whom, but maybe people just missed the little section B way down at the bottom that was put a question mark beside any detail that puzzles you because there's definitely something weird here. What did Gaius Salius Liberalis, i.e. evil Salius, do to Cogadumnus or try to do or that we found out he tried to do? Think way, way back. This had to do with memoir et kephalos, et venenum in paculum. Mm, sounds a little weird. Um, all right. And where did we last see tripodes? Can you remember way, way back? Quintus dated tripodes cagadubno et salvius iratus erat, quad salvius valuit dare, Tripodes out aliquid bonum, Cagadubno said, non patuit dare, non habuit. So there was a period of time where uh, Salvius had wanted to give some nice things to Cagadubnus, but was unable to. Whereas Quintus came along and was like, I've got these nice tripods. Here, Cog, let's be friends. So for a lot of time, Salvius has been kind of jealous slash trying to be friends, maybe. 
with Cogadubnus slash actually plotting against him, whereas Quintus has been loyal and helpful. Ubi est Quintus in Testamento. Hmm. Reading on. Do lego, I give, I bequeath, Lucio Marcio Memori, Willam meam prope aquae sulis. Hmm. What do we remember about Memor again, and Cephalus, at Winanum, in Paculo? Also, what do we remember about what Memor even was kind of like? Do we trust him? Is he a good worker in the baths? Why would Cog be supporting him? Hmm. We also hear Do Lego Dumnorigi, Rincipi Regnensium, Mille Aureos, Aulam Quem Meam. Okay, well, that makes kind of some sense. We know Quintus et Dumnorix, Errant Amici, et Quintus et Dumnorix, Temptavit Servare, Cogadubnum. Hmm, okay. But what do we know about Dumnorix right now? Esne Dumnorix Wewus. Dumnorix non est Wewus. Dumnorix est mortuus. Eho. And doesn't Gagadumnus know this? So why would he be leaving something to Dumnorix? Except for the fact that he goes on. Gonna slow down a little. It's gonna jump. He goes on to say, Si forte Dumnorix mortuus est. Hike Gaio Salvio Liberali Lego. Is this just an excuse to possibly be giving more things to Salvius without being totally obvious about it? Hmm. Wouldn't Cogadumnus know by now that Dumnorix is dead because Quintus came to the palace? Hmm. We also hear Do Lego Belimico, Principi Cantiacorum, Quingendos Areos. Now, why would he do this? He says, Belimicus enim me ab ursa olim serwawit. Did Belimicus serwawit cogadumnum ab ursa? Or was it Belimicus qui impulit ursam ad cogadumnum? Hmm, erat. Et quintus serwawit cogadumnum. Non erat Belimicus. Uh, okay. Interesting. Curious. Why is he doing this? And let's look at the very last part. Boop. Mondo, Gaio Salio Liberali, Curam Puneris Mei. Okay, I guess. But Quid Wolt, what does he want? Quid Wolt. Wolo Aum. Mecum sepelire gemas meas, pateras aureas, omnia arma, et multas res. Hmm. Cabegadumnus vult salvium corpus suus sepelire. Hmm. So if Salius is in charge of doing that, I wonder if you were in charge of burying someone with a bunch of goods and you weren't the most mm, honest person, what could you do? Huh. And at the end, we also hear that Cagadubnus mandit, Gaio Salio Liberali, hoc testamentum, Ah, uh, manu mea scriptum, manu Romeo signatum, etc. Ita ergo, hmm, we gotta think about what's going on here. And I have a question for you, which we will answer in Flipgrid, which is, number one, did Cogadumnus in fact write this will? Give evidence supporting why you think that. Or, if you think Cogadubnus did not write this will, who do you think wrote it and why? Try and cite the text. Doesn't need to be a long answer. Record a video, one to two minutes or less, uh, with your response in Flipgrid. Hope to see you in a live meeting soon. Bye. <gasps>
or should I say? Wale day. <laughs> <laughs>